Well, good morning from Florida. Parked at a uh, campsite last night called Walmart. As you can see here, looks like there's a, a full-time person living right there in the Walmart parking lot. I'm in uh, Panama City Beach. Uh, last night was very cozy, very quiet. So today we're just going to uh, go for a really long drive along the coast. business <laughs> and I spotted something super super strange at least for me and perhaps for you too um, hang on let me get the name of this thing oh, I just gave it away what it is Water Street Seafood Oyster Plant um, you know down here on I don't know some bay or whatever they call it down here I don't know Key Bay Harbor but like, check this out. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look at all these uh, oyster shells. I mean, it's, it's a freaking mountain of oyster shells. And it might not be all that strange to you. And that's all right. But to me, this is... <laughs> this is kind of cool. I mean, when's the last time you say, you could say you climbed a mountain of oysters? Like, look at this. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I find it amusing. By the way, I'm standing on a bunch of calcium carbonate. I think that's right. Calcium pills. That's That could actually be where these things are going to. It could be going to some supplement <laughs> factory. It smells good though. I like being around the ocean. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> just thought it was interesting. guesses what the next stop on the wacky adventure is you might be stumped or I don't know logged since it's technically a log this is Big Charles uh, it uh, long story short it, it, it was found uh, floating through a river and it was a uh, it's a cypress tree so um, let's see if there's anything else of interest here Oh, that's interesting. Um, weighs approximately 15,000 pounds and is thousands of years old. It seems that it was cut a while ago and then it was stuck in the mud so it was actually preserved for a really long time and it's over here at a furniture and art gallery. So, uh, you know, if you're uh, in the middle of nowhere on, uh, in Florida, you know, stop and say hi to Charles, a log. Next interesting fun thing I've uh, found, roadside thing of interest, is the uh, world's smallest police station in the city of Carabelle. Uh, long story short, it's a phone booth, and uh, before they had a lot of phones uh, around town, or I should say cell service, um, better technology and radios, uh, they would use this phone booth as the, um, the call center, because they didn't have a uh, police station. So they could, it's a very small town of like 1,200 people, so they could pretty much see everything going on in town from looking to the right and to the left. So this is kind of like a little reminder, a little uh, trinket from, uh, from a forgotten past. And uh, there's a whole history of it on the wall here. So uh, I'd say it's definitely worth a stop. <laughs> All right, 
right, for all you guys asking how fast my AT&T Mobile is, check out that bad boy. It's about uh, halfway done and two minutes remaining. So that means a four, four minute upload. Also, for the past hour and a half, I've been trying to find my headphones. So if the audio is off for the New Orleans one, oh crap, I forgot to do my audio fix. Three. Three times I've tried to export this uh, video. First two times I bumped my external drive, this guy, and then it force ejected the whole thing. But uh, <laughs> uh, that's my Monday. How's your Monday? Or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whenever this video comes out, how's your day going? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, just get off to a little bumpy start. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm gonna pick up my buddy's dog who's uh, buying the bus, and then uh, have a dog with me from Tennessee. It's up by Asheville, Tennessee, all the way over to uh, Portland. I'm gonna take the high road. I don't know what states I'll go through, but I would like to go through Colorado, probably over to Salt Lake, and then Idaho, uh, you know, that little uh, freeway over back over to Portland. So, um, Yes, it's going to be a fast-paced couple of weeks, but um, it's going to be fun. This next chapter of uh, me and traveling and, uh, yeah, and YouTube. We'll get more into details later, I guess. Uh, there's people, you know, always asking so many questions, so just like driving and vibing, I think I should do like a Q&A type video because I get asked the same question over and over, and it's probably better to do a video about it um, so that people... Yeah, so I can, because I'd really like to share the information that I have so far. I just got a question um, this morning. It was like, how did you become successful on YouTube? And I don't even think of myself as successful on YouTube. I can't even, like, pay the bills yet. But, um, yeah, I can uh, I can say how to get to 20K, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> a lot of hard work and consistency. So, on that note, um, yeah, I'm gonna do the, all that magical stuff, and then, oh my god, it's on low battery, I better go plug it in. <laughs>